I don't know about you all, but I could use some extra serotonin here lately. And the best way I can think of doing that is um, it's getting close to the time of year where Halloween and fall and all that fun stuff is being put out um, and school stuff is being put out. And for some reason, I just get like pure joy and happiness and relaxation and just like everything feels okay and I feel happy and less worried whenever I'm walking through aisles of like school supplies or fall and autumn decorations and things of that nature. I feel like I need a little extra serotonin because I am going to go ahead and go into the Hobby Lobby, the Hobby Lobby. Um, and I need to get a couple of things um, that I'm just kind of looking forward to see if I find the right thing there. Um, I do make my own Mickey and Minnie Mouse ears. I'm not sure if you guys know that or not. They're like basically Disney inspired Mickey and Minnie Mouse ears. I've actually made some that were Captain Phasma inspired. They have Stormtrooper pattern and um, black beads and then like a beautiful silver sequin bow for Captain Phasma. I can put in a picture here, a couple of pictures. But I've always gotten so many good compliments on those when I go to Disney World. The people are like, where did you get those? And I say, I made them. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going in to try and find some tool material to make some bows and maybe some little like, are they called gashapons? Like little like button type things that look like, you know, desserts or Mickey Mouse or whatever. I have some that are princesses, but anyways, I'm looking for that stuff, but we are going to just stroll down the autumn aisles, and if something just catches my eye, I might look into buying it. So yeah, we're going to do that, and then we're going to go to Walmart because it's right next door too, because I have to get a filter for our pool, and I'm really scared that at this point they're already completely out. So hopefully they'll have one, because I really want to get in the pool today, but it's looking like a buggy pretty buggy. Um, so anyways, let's go and get some serotonin. I don't know how much I'm going to film in here simply because, um, there's always a bunch of people at Hobby Lobby, like a bunch of people. So, all right, let's go see what we can find.
feel better now. <laughs> I feel a little bit better. I still have a headache, but walking through like the yarn aisles, the fabric aisles, and then all of the holiday and stuff aisles, just looking at them being so perfectly like, I don't know, perfectly put up and everything and so organized just uh, makes me feel so much better. So I ended up getting um, some pretty blue like teal tool. I got some gold tool and some light pink tool. I'm going to use those to make bows. Um, these two are mainly going to be for, I have some donut um, Mickey ears that I'm going to make. So they're going to be like these colors to match the, the sprinkles on the donuts. And this one is probably going to be mainly for um, the Beauty and the Beast ones that I make because I have some Beauty and Beast fabric. Uh, and then I also make sure if you go to Hobby Lobby that you, or you go near the craft store really, make sure you check the clearance stuff because they have like little ends of like the skeins of fabric that they have or like little pieces that, they, that people don't buy and all that stuff that they do for clearance. So I found this really cool like rose textured fabric and I think these would be really cute to make Minnie Mouse ears for like a textured Minnie Mouse ear. So that would be really neat. Um, and then I also got some lilac -y purple satin stuff for $1.69. Um, it's 58 inches by 17 inches, so it's like a poly satin. Um, I have seen like the lilac light purple ears um, at Disney World, but they're usually like $35. And I have the um, lilac uh, spirit jersey. It's like my favorite thing ever. Um, so I thought I could make my own lilac -y purple ears because that's like literally my favorite colors, like lilac lavender colors. So I got that. And then I also got... <laughs> I got some of this like ribbony stuff merchant something or other decorative trim I use these along the Minnie Mouse ears like around the edges or I use beads <laughs> sorry people are like getting out of their car right next to me I mean like right next to me and so I'm like <laughs> okay they're gone um it's still kind of like uh, weird that I'm like talking to myself. I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to you guys. Okay, and then the last thing I got was this little fox pumpkin. She wrapped it good. Um, <laughs> that I saw last time I went to Hobby Lobby with my mom um, and my sister-in-law and my nephew. And I really wanted him, but I didn't have the extra money. And I do now. He was 40% off. He was $5.99. Isn't he cute? Oh, I love it. I can't wait to put all my fall stuff up. I feel like the house... Oh, let me fill this up first. It's not nearly as pretty as she did it. But anyways, um, <laughs> but I feel like my house like during the summer is just so bleh. like, I don't know. I just don't want to be in the house, but then it's too hot to be outside unless I'm allergic to a lot of stuff. Um, but then like during the fall, it's like, I just want to stay inside all day because I decorate my house. It looks like it just looks cozy, comfy. Like, it just changes the vibe of the house. I don't know. Do you guys have that type thing? Um, people talk about having seasonal depression in, like, the fall and winter times because you have to stay inside all the time or it's really cold. I'm the opposite. I have summer depression where I'm literally, like, I don't want to go anywhere. I don't want to do anything. I hate being outside. I hate being inside all day. Um, <laughs> and so I just, I feel, like, cooped and trapped up during the summer and during the fall and winter. That's, like, prime time for me so do you guys feel like that I don't know hopefully you got some serotonin if you can tell I feel a little bit better um but I am gonna go to Walmart the uh, Wally World right here behind me um my nephew said that the crane was working last time he went and he almost got a Gary the giraffe he said it literally picked it up and it dropped before it could get to the thing so I'm gonna see if I can play that I have a couple of dollars we're also gonna see if my Wally World has gotten the squish dues in yet the new squish dues and then I do have to buy a pull filter so here we go literally took 12 seconds because they're like literally the same parking lot all right let's go to Walmart let's see if we can win something in a claw machine um how cool would it be if I actually won that Gary that my nephew tried to get and I could give it to him that'd be so good okay let's go see all right dragon. Alright, we're gonna try. What? Do you see that Leonard in there? Oh my god. You need him. I was so close to getting Tina. So close. 
but I only had four dollars and that's all I wanted to spend so better luck next time <laughs> Also, I kind of forgot that I'm in the other Walmart, like the one that I don't normally go to, and so I got really confused when I walked in. I was like, where is everything? <laughs> yeah, around this time of year, they get rid of the pool stuff and they get all the dorm stuff, like if you stay in a dorm because we're in a college town, so I highly doubt they're going to have what I need. Also, they had the clearance way out here which is kind of weird. <laughs> no filters. See? See? It's so random. They put the dorm stuff in Garden Center. That little rack was all they had left. So, I guess I gotta order online if I wanna get a new filter, unless the other Walmart has one. But, you're on the way to toys, just to see. Why does that Walmart always look bare in the aisles? But then, look at this. Jeez. So have some of these. They're so cute. What? Real Littles Disney. What? Oh my gosh. Look at that. The Stitch. A Little Mermaid. Frozen. Minnie Mouse. Those are cute. I don't need any more stuff, but... Oh, those are so cute. Tiny backpacks. I love the aliens. <laughs> and they have like real supplies in them that ma uh, matches them. So, but they still have these doorables. You can get Anna, Elsa, or Olaf, Mickey's, Mickey, Minnie, and Daisy. Anyway, I really want those. Oh, look what I found. Oh my goodness, if I have the extra money, I would so get this. <gasps> Look at Oogie Boogie. So cute. I'm obsessed with Night Before Christmas and I love Disney Dorables. <gasps> New Cutie Ditos. Carnival. These little carnival ones. Cute. I have one of the Unicorn Ditos. Okay. Well, I mean, kind of some new toys, but not what I'm looking for. Are there any other toys that you guys want me to um, do videos on? Just let me know. Okay, let's check the plushie section, even though I'm pretty sure they're going to be in their own box, but we can check. Oh, there's a lady. Nope. Nothing. It's hot. It's very hot. It's not even as hot as it was earlier this week. It was we had a heat indice of our heat index of 110 earlier. So yeah, it's it's not as hot as it was earlier this week, but it's still hot. All right, Wally World was a big old fat bust. Um, of course, I came to the one that's actually in my town. Normally, I go to the one that's like 20 minutes that way, just because I like it a little better. They're a little bit more organized and stuff, as y'all could see, like in the aisles and stuff of this Walmart, it's insane. Like they stack stuff up to the ceiling for no reason because they have no room actually to be honest. They probably need a bigger lot. But anyways, um, but this Walmart's been here forever. Um, so anyways, no pool filters, no squish mallows, but we did see some new Disney Dorables. Like I really want those Nightmare Before Christmas ones, but then I'm like, what would I do with them? Um, so that brings me to like another little point that I'm gonna go ahead and um, kind of point out here is that um i do all this stuff uh, i do all these videos like out of my own pocket i pay for everything all the toys you see all the stuff that i do all of that i pay for it like out of my own pocket and um, as many of you know i am a teacher and so i don't make a ton of money and most of my money goes towards like car house 
those kinds of things. So anyways, um, I'm really working hard to try and grow this channel because I am getting ads on some of my more popular videos already, but I'm not making money from them. Uh, and that has to do, I'm sorry, I'm like really sweaty. Um, but that has to do a lot with that um, I don't have enough subscribers. And I, I hate to like just be like, give me subscribers so I can make money. But it's more of like not being a greedy type thing, but more like I like doing this. I like putting out content. A lot of you say that you enjoy watching my videos. It makes you feel a little better. Or you like the squish hunts and stuff like that. And um, we share common interests. And so I like doing that. But all that is to say that it does cost money. <laughs> and so there's like this, you know, causation relationship where if I'm going to keep doing content and if I'm going to keep doing toys, I'm going to keep doing stuff where I have to buy things, then I'm going to need, you know, some help. So please, if you have any friends, family that would be interested in anything toy related, this is a very family PG type um, uh, channel that I have here. So like even my nephew, he's six he watches my videos because all I do is toys but anyways I do want to start broadening a little bit so if you have someone that you could share this with share my videos with share my channel with that would be awesome um, but then also if you have any suggestions on like other ways I can do content other things that you'd like to see that you think would be more popular I know squish miles is super popular right now but that's a fad so what are some other things that you guys like to see otherwise like other toys, unboxing, reviews, again, those are going to cost money, but if I can get some support, you know, in, in that area, or if I can, you know, at least have y'all's promise that you'll stay and stick around, even though it may take me a while to get stuff like that, because it's using my own money, so, I don't know, I didn't mean to go off on that rant, but unfortunately, that's how our world works, it's all about money, um, I don't want this channel to be like that, I want this channel to be fun, a relaxing place for you guys to come, but it does end up costing money for me to do things, and it's, it's irritates me that I had ads on my videos <laughs> and I'm not getting paid for them but anyways so yeah sorry uh if you don't like that I'm sorry but I'm trying to keep this as like positive as possible but also being re realistic that you know this costs money to do so anyway does that make any sense Does that turn anybody off I'm sorry I, I promise you I'm not all about money <laughs> I just want to keep making videos but sometimes it's hard so all right let me know if there's anything that you guys are interested in so yeah, but thank you and hopefully I will see you guys in the next video and hopefully you will like and subscribe and come back. Join our little community here. Give me some suggestions on some other things that I could do that you'd be interested in and I really do appreciate all of you guys <laughs> for sure. I'm um, going to be looking out for giveaway videos for reaching certain milestones because I'm hoping that those will happen soon. I'm wanting to try and do 400. don't know if it's going to happen, but definitely if we fit, hit 500, there will be something. So, all right. I will see you guys hopefully in the future. Bye.